ba boom Unreal 4. Hey guys, today we're trying the unclearness as requested by Patreon subscriber Sage Genesis. We gotta solve a tricky case of suicide. <laughs> I can't get through it. Uh, I saw this on the Steam and I, I couldn't tell if it was a joke or not, so I'm really curious to see if this is intentionally funny or unintentionally funny. But it's got a picture of the protagonist, and it's just like, what's going on here? As a, as a subtitle next to him. I'm just gonna turn these down, because full... Run, running at full specs on an indie game usually means the optimization goes right out the window. So it's usually a good idea to turn that down a little bit. Uh, I don't think... Ah, Russian. That might speak to it. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Because... Uh, also, I love the... Un an unclear case. Of suicide. It's like I, uh, try, are you trying to solve how the suicide happened? I mean, it's probably that the suicide itself is not supposed to be the truth, but an unclear sick case of suicide is just a funny sentence. He seems to have an ashtray on his laptop, like in the way of where his hands would go to use the laptop where you type. I question this decision making process he's got right here. There's his face. This is post, not, apo not an apocalypse necessarily, kind of an apocalypse, where like global warming has taken away the land mass, and ten and like ninety percent of all land has just, just been removed. Now it's now there's barely anything left, which is I think is an extreme version of cold. That. Lousy cold was piercing every inch of me. It was the most lousy time of the year. Rain mixed with snow, mud and slush were penetrating everywhere. Sometimes, it seems to me that the weather adjusts to my depressive soul. Have you, my friend, ever felt like your life has lost its point and only close, inevitable death can satisfy you? Maybe such thoughts have occurred to you only for a moment, but I never stopped thinking about it. Never in my dreams. My mind was full of thoughts and empty at the same time. But I just could have had one too many. After all, it doesn't matter. Now, stranger, I will tell you my story. I don't look for your understanding, but you may learn something new. Wait, how did I get here? A small, dirty street near the central. Once a famous hotel and a lousy cesspool today was the last memory of mine. But... It was so long ago. Our scar-faced man seems to be standing in the middle of... Train... Depot. Calm down. 10% already, wow. Calm you down even more, I guess. Back to settings. Yeah, there's no... No subtitle settings, so just gonna have to try to listen real well, all of us. Could someone decide to take his own life? I thought. I had no time to think. Maybe my soul is reducing to ashes, but I can't remain indifferent. That guy has the tightest pants ever created by mankind. Is that the Overwatch logo? No, it's not. Not quite. Oh. Open your notes with T. I must get to the roof immediately. I can't witness another suicide. Not again! Moving without noises. Control. So sneaking. Do I move faster while sneaking than while not sneaking? There's a sprint. Ah! 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Take down. Ba-boom. Whoa. Got him. I'm gonna take your vibro blade now and fight some Jedi. I, I can't. Okay. Gotcha. 
I didn't stop to read the tutorial fast enough, so I just kind of wandered towards him. Made a mess of things. Let's go to the beach! I don't know if I took him down by cl by clicking or pressing E or right clicking. I just pressed everything at once. I was like E, F, R, left click, right click. I wasn't sure if E would still work because that was supposed to be the takedown, uh, presumably when I'm sneaking up on somebody. Is what I figured. And I, I blew that. Gotta get up there to stop the suicide, which I... He says not again, so the suicide that's supposed to be the case in the in the game must be a different suicide. It's just another one that's happening. But he himself also seems to have intrusive suicidal thoughts. Going by that narrative from a moment ago. That narration, I mean. Oh, I almost walked off. Is he gone? Am I on the wrong roof? Yes. Okay, no, we're on the right, we're on the right path, though. Gotcha. It's very dark. Do I have a flashlight? It'd be really embarrassing when we find out that there was an elevator the whole time. Don't move. I don't wanna die. The mixed messages there. Did he just get killed by a suicide virus that makes people kill themselves? Is it like the happening, except they don't... Whoa, whoa, there's an invisible wall here, which affects the camera in addition to me. He left his jacket. Equip weapon with F, E to interact with items. Can I interact with his, with his jacket that he dropped? Handgun ammo. Handgun. Handgun ammo. Why are all these guns on a roof? I don't really like the image of going onto a rooftop and picking up an assault rifle. I'm not really psyched about that. For being honest. Alright. Oh. Oh! He's not happy about the suicide that I'm gonna get blamed for, I guess? Oh. That didn't go well. This thing has excellent accuracy, apparently. What's the green light for? Can I just go this? Can I go over here? There you go. Shortcut. Shortcut! Ugh. Huh. I guess these vehicles have green headlights. Can I take it? I want to get in the... Ooh! Ooh! Look at that that visual on the on the windshield. That's neat. This uh, hovercraft's instantly the coolest looking thing in the game. Do I have to go all the way down the ladder to get down there? I just it's just kind of a bummer to immediately have to go back down when I just got up here. Can I just skip? Yeah, pro strats. Oof, I what called this balcony hopping. That's right, parkour powers, am I right? Use silencer on handgun with H. Use slow motion with X. Knife is then at there's so many hotkeys. Ouch. Ouch, my body is being shot. Oh, this is a oh, this game's a gem. That's the death screen? It just cuts to a game over. Doesn't you don't they didn't even- not even a ragdoll. You don't even fall over. It's just like, yeah, you took enough damage. Alright, that was my bad. I didn't look in that direction. I didn't see a guy there. Please load. I gotta pick up all my items again. Alright. Oh, there's more over here. Why is the assault rifle ammo over here, but the assault rifle's all the way over here? Maybe the rifle takes up too much space. Why does he notice me instantly, but the other guy doesn't? Oh, this time he did. He didn't take getting shot very well, am I right? Is he coming up here? Nope. Oh, hitbox. Ah! Ah! Why is he able to hit me through there?
There we go. Whee! There's no fall damage in this game. Good to know. That'll save some time. The unclearness. I don't know if this game's intentionally funny or not, but it couldn't be anything other than funny when they named the game The Unclearness. Like, it's a game about a mystery. We gotta solve this crazy case of a suicide. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that could be a good game. Maybe some kind of thing where people... Yeah, okay, there's no fall, there's no fall damage. Some game where like people are forced to commit suicide by like brain hacking in a cyberpunk future or maybe a virus or some other thing going on here. All right, it's, not, it's, it's, it's interesting. What's going on there? What are we gonna call a game about this crazy, deadly mystery? The unclearness. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, I'm unclear. <laughs> the unclearness. That guy's like invisible. What? Oh, that guy is, that guy is invisible, the guy that killed me. Not literally invisible, but like you can't see him like for shit at that angle. You wow, you really took a bullet for that guy. You must love him. You're both dead now. They have death animations. Why don't I have a death animation? That's that's yeah. Maybe I do have a death. I'm, I'm trying to be too precise here. I'm doing one shot per click because I'm trying to save ammo. I feel like I can do a nice little clean headshot, but they're just pelting me, and that's gonna go poorly for me, like it did already last time. Let's go to the beach, ha! <laughs> no one's over there. But yeah, I had. <laughs> it's really startling. I I had to try this game when I saw that it was called The Unclearness. It, the title sold me on it. Ooh, that guy ate shit. Oh, hello, other guy in the gr in the. Sorry, I can't see you guys. They're all wearing gray in a gray game, where everything's gray. I don't really have context for what's happening right now, but everyone wants to kill me apparently. We've done it. Da da. What? That background's f one building repeating over and over again. Where every other, it's just going, it's leaning left and right over and over again, like they just, they just mirrored it. And also the angle's wrong for, <laughs> that's not how perspective works, it's the complete wrong angle. In breaking news, a SWAT lieutenant has committed suicide. No death note was found, and the circumstances of his death are being clarified. We another assault rifle and another handgun. I also like to put a stack of books on my completely unmade bed that's just a mattress with no pillow and no sheets next to my high-end scotch or whatever and whiskey. It is- this game is very dark. Can I make it brighter? I can increase the gamma. Huh. Is that affecting the recording? Yeah, okay. I have to check because in the case of uh... There we go. Yeah, that's that's a little better. In the case of uh, like Morrowind and stuff like that, some of them just change your your monitor's gamma setting and not the in-game recording. Dude, you are nothing but books and alcohol in every corner of the map. That's a that's an already poured glass next to another already poured glass. That's two pour, that's two poured glass of different. I assume one of them's like a liquor and the other one's. Wine? They might both be wine. I hate computers. Wow, oh, you can really make out what that says. Can I use it? How do I use the computer? Surely you can use it because it's like a really high resolution display where you, you can see you can make out all the text. Greetings. This access codes for the seventh floor have been changed and are as follows. Main entrance 2034. West wing, 2959. East wing, 3950. Regards. Hmm. My alcohol is bulletproof. Why is there a reticle next to her butt? Are you pointing a gun at her butt? Is that an in-game screenshot of her butt with the reticle still there? Clearly, I've been investigating for a while. 
more more guns and more alcohol. Every surface is just more. There's another there's another cup there. Can't tell what those are. La Roche. La Roche. I can't. It's fine. City. And other sign? E. Gross. Dude, what the fuck? This is what your bathroom looks like when the rest of your house looks like that? Look at this shit. Look at all this steez. And a picture of a dog. He seems nice. And then just the nightmare, like, horror movie bathroom, apparently. Huh. What does he look like? He looks exactly like somebody. I'm trying to call back to that. He looks incredibly familiar. The unclearness. Being on the roof, I saw him for the first time, but his face seemed painfully familiar to me. I've always been careful with my connections, but no matter how hard I racked my brain, I could not realize how I had known him. Versions. Suicide under pressure. It is a good idea to find out if he has any relatives, and what are other ways to manipulate him. Drugs and other psychoactive substances. It is necessary to study the contents of his blood, and as soon as possible. His body must be in the city morgue. Severe stress. Work, family, health, money. But why did he tell he did not want to die? Every woman appears to be wearing the same dress. Isn't it cold out? Every dude's wearing like a jacket. That guy's wearing all denim. Daring. There's more women in the same dress. Yeah, every dude is heavily, heavily clothed like it's cold out. There we go. Yeah, there we go. She's wearing- yeah, she's wearing a full Wait, what? She's wearing like a trench coat, but under that, she's just got like high- high boots on. She's- so she's wearing- she's probably wearing a skirt under the- under the trench coat. high price surgeon. Today, he is void of his glory. I owe much to him. I feel uncomfortable every time I turn to him. I'll always be deeply in his debt. However, when I saw him, it was clear that he was glad to see me. Kind and wise look. I hope he understands that I come to him not only when I need something. I really appreciate him. He is like a father to me. For a second, I felt like smiling, but I did not manage to for some reason. We did it. We found a lady wearing pants. It exists. Got to turn around. Here we go. Back through here. I can kind of dig what they're going for, setting-wise. I also kind of like the voice acting, or at least the accent of the protagonist is a fun change. And yeah, part of me, like, the nostalgia part of my brain starts firing when I see that, that thing going around and I'm like, oh, perfect arc. <laughs> When I see like this kind of cityscape with that kind of vehicle flying through it, I'm like, ah, oh, I, I miss Perfect Dark so much. Chris, home. What the? F well, alrighty then. What's up? He seems friendly. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at my head. 
I would duck every time out of nervousness if there was one inch of clearance between the top of my head and the top of a doorway. I don't know if this is a short building or if I'm a tall man. Look how fancy these insides always are. Can I read these notes that are everywhere? They always look like stuff I can interact with, but I don't seem I don't seem to be able to. These fancy ass interiors. If fully realized the right way, I could like I could dig this setting. Seems like a fun idea. It has the same statue. I wonder how many buildings I have to get through before I find Saturn devouring his son. Whenever there's a bunch of art like this, that's just like the inevitable one. Hello. Sorry, but I've got bad news, as usual. You know, I always have time for you. You must have heard about the lieutenant. Yes, what's that to do with you? I was there. I saw his eyes. They were the victims. If you want to see the eyes of a man willing to die, look at mine. His were different. There was the fear of death, panic, a wish to run. What could it be? I did not expect it. Well, it is not your first day as a detective. Have you experienced something like this before? No. Nah. I've lied. I've seen it, but it was so personal that I was embarrassed to tell. <sighs> it was five years ago. That guy's not suicidal. I'm suicidal, and we can we can sense people who are suicidal. It's like suicidal gaydar. <laughs> this is a really insensitive thing to joke about. I'm a bad person. Oh, I'm back. I'm I'm back in the same place. Actually, my walls are pretty a woman fucked up. At my door, the first thing I noticed when I opened the door was a heady aroma of her perfume. It indicated a vamp. The woman who never stops until she gets what she wants and catches a person's mind. I saw through her. You must be Stan, aren't you? Yeah, I'm all ears. She entered before I could answer. For a moment, it seemed to me that my home became lighter and more comfortable. Everything is here. I think you have already understood it. I want my husband to be removed like a pawn from a chessboard. I want him into purgatory or dead. It does not matter. I am interested only in his property. <laughs> you must be crazy. You should find another contractor. You could just leave him. I could not. I am scared. Sorry. You can't even imagine what he will do to me if I leave him. It would be a cold day in hell before I believed her tears, but... Even those false tears did not leave me alone. I started to think I had been wrong. I agreed to her terms. My instincts were crying I should kick her out, but it was not her husband who worried me. I'm not even herself. It was an egoist inside me who hoped to see her again one day. I took that damn envelope, and as soon as she closed that door, I poured a glass of whiskey and emptied it in one gulp. I would never believe her tears. <laughs> I wouldn't either. With that delivery, a completely flat, emotionless delivery that seems like it's completely callous and uncaring, but he's yeah, reacting to her like, like she's crying? I gave up everything, but I found compromising information about her husband. It was six years ago. He was pushing drugs while he was in the underworld. The case was considered to be a dead duck because there was no evidence, but I found the lead. I played with loaded dice. B evidence is out. I learned everything. I saw police taking him to purgatory. Yeah, purgatory. The people who were there once would rather die than return there. They went crazy, lost everything. I'm afraid to imagine what's going on inside this repressive state machinery. <sighs> After I'd finished, 
I went to the given address. I felt that very perfume before I entered. When I opened the door, I saw her wearing a snow white bathrobe. <laughs> Angels must look like her. She smelled better than a million of tea roses. Her eyes were more beautiful than all the brilliance on earth. Her voice was nicer than any music. She's wearing a bra. My heart was broken by the fall that she would never be mine. Did she put her bra on and then put the bathrobe back on? I didn't wait when she would give me the promised payment. I went out and did not say a word. It would be better to forget her. Not to see her again. We seem just to have wandered in the paint department of a Home Depot. Of the walls are just covered in I swatches. Has never been the despot. More than that, I was sure that he loved the light life itself, but it was not important anymore. I went into the street, and what I saw was awful. She fell out of the window in front of my eyes. There was terror in her dead eyes. Her hands were cut. I rushed upstairs to her flat. The door was closed. I kicked it out. Suicide. I feel like we're going to find out he has superpowers and he can make people commit suicide and he doesn't know how to control it. Because people keep dying specifically in front of his eyes. These are a bunch of photos of people twirling uh, sparklers around. You twirl around a sparkler and you leave the exposure open on the camera and the entire streak of the sparkler all records on the black background. There's just like a bunch of those. And some of these are the same image repeating. Vague blurriness. Seriously though, these are- this is just a- I'm pretty sure this is just paint swatches. Like, here's examples of all the different pigments you can buy, sir. And then it's just kind of like repeating and rotating over and over again. Why is this guy's face swirled out? Why would a police report have the face removed? Why is only some of the wall covered in this weird wallpaper? I don't know. I'm unclear. <laughs> I like that painting. We've seen that one already. The popular one around here, I guess. Is that a shard of glass? What's this thing on the table? You have the same paintings in your own house? twice you only have two rooms to live in and of the five paintings two of them four of them are just two paintings re repeating weird it's one thing that it's it's weird when when everyone in the city has the same paintings it's even weirder when the same person has a bunch of the same painting Oh shit, oh, I just came home from the art fair and ah, I to me. forgot I already had that painting. Me, her intentions were not of a person who was going to die, but it's too late to think about it. Why your sirens? It's our time to go. This is one of those we don't watch television in this family kind of houses. We just sit in the two couches and stare at each other. That's the kind of house that this is. We're, we're in this family. We're gonna spend time with each other. She has, she has two rooms in her apartment: the bedroom and the lobby. <laughs> no kitchen, no bathroom, just the bedroom and the lobby. I was ashamed to lie to my best friend. Maybe I'll tell him the story one day, but I'm afraid to tell such a shameful thing. What are you thinking about? Can a blood test determine a psychoactive substance and say whether it could bring to a suicide? I will try to do it if you have the blood, of course. Nowadays, many people suffer death. Why are you so interested? I don't have the blood, but 
I'll get it. Just professional's interest, you know? It's always exciting to take something up. Sorry, Doc. I'll have to go. Very informal. We meet up with this guy in his bedroom to have a professional consultation about a, a specific medical situation. In his, in his bedroom. In my pants. Oh, we're back here now. What is happening? Is he up there again? No? Huh. This is strange. I'd be curious to see how the script reads if you read it just on its own. Because there's definitely some effort going on here. Like, somebody has a vision and they're hoping for something here. This isn't like a half-baked, thrown-together steam cache -in. Like, this is... This seems like it's somebody's, like, creative vision, but it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be realized to its fullest. The packaging for this game makes it just incredibly hard to take seriously. But it's full of, like, little details of, like, oh, they're, they're trying, but, you know, video games are hard to make. The playthrough might be, like, unintentionally funny all the way through, though. Part of me is curious. Is my robe, is my trench coat like a whole bunch of different strips, I think? Seems like it is. Oh, there's a guy over here now. Do you have a cigarette? Here you are. You didn't finish that cigarette. Up. Look, are you here because of the dead? Let it be so. Have you known him? Listen, I found something. I was there at that moment and found it next to the body. No one noticed it. I took it when they all went away. You were very helpful. Thank you, a kind person. Have you known him? Is that what he said? Yeah, it's all translated from Russian, is would be my guess. Since the that's the other language option. You can see a hole in the world over there. It's probably all translated from from Russian. I can't switch to Russian to hear the Russian voice acting because there's no subtitles in this game. So we can't we can't check that out. But I'm guessing the translation probably doesn't do it a lot of favors. There's been a couple of other little moments where somebody said something and I was like, I, uh, huh? I always wonder how much... Like, a lot of voice actors, I guess, don't really correct lines, do they? They just like, well, that's what it says, so that's what I'm gonna say. Because the voice actor speaks English and would probably notice, like, that sentence doesn't make any sense. Assuming that they have it in the context of a f of its messaging. Because there is weird stuff, like, I think, what was it? Was it, was it Mass Effect Andromeda? Or was there some game where there was some game I heard about where all the voice actors were given their lines in alphabetical order, <laughs> which meant that they were completely divorced from the context of even the conversation that they were in. They just had to read every line individually, basically in the same flat delivery, because they had no idea what the context was for every sentence they were reading. Because even the individual sentences that made up one conversation wouldn't be next to each other in the document they were reading off of. That stuff is fascinating to me. Dude, you have like a fluorescent jacket. It is bright from a great- Oh, the shadow of his other arm is showing through his body. That's interesting. And you can see through his hood. His hood's translucent all the way through. There's a lot of really confusing visual glitches happening on that guy's body, actually. Huh. Oop. Box soccer! Yeah, look at it go. Oh my god, this is exactly... Oh, uh, if we were still doing it in the, ba in the old uh, sad games days, I might have wrangled to Andrew to do a playthrough of this full game just to see it all the way through. I'm, I'm sure it's fascinating. Oh, oh, we're fighting now! This is a gunfight! Okay. Jesus Christ, I haven't fought anything for like 20 minutes. I forgot that that was in the game. 
I don't think you can shoot their chain link fences in this game. I think they're impermeable. Dude, they just instantly start shooting you. That's a that's rough. Thankfully, I seem to have a healing factor. So I think I'm safe. Hello, one enemy who is bald. Video game characters tend to be bald, especially in indie games. I mean, pretty much all video games people ha tend to have like uh, short hair, or they have a ponytail, or braids, or anything that moves means, means that there's no hair moving most of the time. Even in, like double A and triple A games, but in indie games especially, you'll you'll that's you suddenly you have all these worlds where eighty percent of all adult men are completely bald or shaved at all times because it's just you don't have to deal with any hair if they're all bald. Everyone looks at the from getting over it by betting by Bennett Foddy. Okay, now there's a height problem going on around here. Like this guy is plagued every day of his life by hitting his head on doorways and lamp and lighting fixtures and stuff like that. I've I've had I've had that kind of problem before though, where there was like a low hanging chandelier in a house that was clearly meant to be hanging over a table, but the owners of the house had just gotten rid of that table they, uh, they just didn't have it placed in that part of the house the way that it was clearly designed to be and so you could just walk right into this awkward chandelier what does it say there was a prompt for a second there does it say lock or block or something unlock ah whoa how does this work neat this is kind of neat aha uh -huh. There's a lockpicking minigame in this game. That's interesting. How often do the bookcases repeat? Ah! Every half shelf. That's a pretty long, continuous series of new books. Like it reaches halfway across the shelf. That's a, that's a longer chain than most, frankly. Front view of male figure. Yeah. Disgusting, horrible splatter on the wall, and mold goes down over the over the fixture. Yeah, I think I know what I think I know what caused the death. It was mold poisoning. Is there a, what's up with the crevice up there? Uh, this room makes me feel uncomfortable. What did I just get? Oh, it's probably a red key card. There we go. Got to find the part of the door that's interactive. Secret. Huh. They don't line up with each other. Oh, because this door is higher than the other door. The left door is lined up to the top of the frame, and the bottom door is... The right door is lined up to the bottom of the frame, as it should be. Actually, surprisingly hard to find the part of the door that you press E on to open once they're double doors. E, 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 e. There we go. You use the mouse to jiggle the. You use the mouse to change the depth, and then you press like D to rotate. Kind of finds a way. So we're, we're hacking our way into a morgue, apparently. Dude, this place is horrible. Also, they really wanted to make sure everyone saw that diagram of an arm. I always wonder what goes into the thought process when you create locations like this in a game. There are six frames. Five of them. Out of six, five of them are the same thing. One is suddenly something else. Like... Not even like alternating, like this wall is this one repeating, and that wall is that one repeating, or they alternate or anything. It's like five out of six are one thing, sixth one is a different thing. Like that's the single least satisfying option. Ah, uh, it also, that one's also a different height. All of those ones look like this, the, it looks like these five are the same height. This one's lower than the other ones. Huh. Yeah, I always wonder about the process of making a location like this. And why it comes out the way it does and stuff.
Now, okay, come on, man. Now the now the arm diagram is here again, but now it's sideways. Why would somebody hang it up like this? <laughs> at, at first, I felt like I was maybe being a little mean, making fun of this, but it keeps getting funnier. Just stuff like that. I'm like, what the fuck? All right. Need card. I thought I had a card. Isn't that what the flashing red card in the corner of the screen is? I thought that wasn't there until I until I looted the thing. If that's not what it was, what, what did I loot? I looted something. Also, why is everyone's glass windows... Everyone has these glass window doors that are... Where well, the glass is broken. Whoa! It's supposed to be a double wide... It's supposed to be a double door, but it's one door stretched horizontally out. And it's clearly stretched. Oh, this is fascinating. Whoop, I just walked over it apparently. Oh god, it's dark in here now. Oh, it's not though. Why was it so dark? Dude, I am a titan. Look how tall I am. Like that, that is a, that's for bodies. That's where a body goes. Look how big I am. No, so it's definitely the whole world is a scale that doesn't match me. I'm the wrong, like, I'm the wrong size. I'm a nightmare Mega Man in the middle of this game full of tiny, tiny things. Gonna, I'm gonna level with you guys. I'm probably gonna never find this key card. This, but hey, we're like 40 minutes in. It's probably about enough time. It's probably a good place to cut it for now. Or it's in here, probably. So this is the, there's the key card. Never mind. This is the unclearness. I am as tall as these, I... That's- this is definitely not normal. I am definitely some kind of titan. It's freaking me out. Oh, I have a green key- I have a blue key card now. So I was- I was right about the fact that I got a red key card. I just have more key cards now. I can't see anything back here at all. What have I done? Well, now that we've- now that we're in a horrible abyss, probably a good place to cut- to call it. If you'd like to check this game out for yourself, and dive deep into this experience, uh, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thank you to the developer for sending me a key. I hope you can't hear any of this and only speak Russian so that you don't have to hear me be mean to your game. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching like always, guys, and I will see you next time.